afternoon. Welcome to our You Are Home live tour of Gregson Hall. My name is Courtney. I'll be showing you guys around today. Um, I'm a junior here at the University of Arkansas and I'm actually from Fayetteville, so feel free to ask me any questions about the city. Um, recording for us today is Channing. I'll let her introduce herself. Hello everyone, my name is Channing. I am a senior communication major and I'm from Springdale, Arkansas and I will be um, behind the camera today. So if you have any questions, please let us know and we will answer those throughout the video. Awesome. So before we go in, I wanna show you all of the stuff that's surrounding us. It's basically everything. Um, I'll start in this direction. If you just walk down a little bit, you can see the stadium and the hyper from here. Um, so that's really convenient. There's workout stuff for students in the hyper and a pool that you can use. Um, and then you've got Yoakum and Humphreys over here and a Club Red, which is super close and super convenient. It's just a little like store, it's kind of like a gas station, I would say, with snacks and all sorts of stuff in the air. Your closest dining hall is going to be Bruff, which is right on top over there. Um, and then you've got Starbucks really close, which is a great study spot. Um, and then Founders, which has tons of restaurants in it, Slams where the Wild Greens are. Um, those are just good options for meal trade at night. You can go use a meal swipe there. Um, and then the Business College is right over here. Temple. We're right on Dixon Street, which is iconic in Fayetteville, so that's <laughs> super convenient. And then you've got Gibson right here. And the Union is walking distance. And there's also a bus station over here. So you're right in the middle of all of it. This is a perfect spot. There's a lot going on. Yeah. So we're gonna head inside. Oh, thank you. We have a fob system here for security, so if you let your mom fob. Gregson Lives, they call this place. It's been around for quite a while. Desk. Hello. There's um, always going to be people here, so this is where you'll come if you want to rent stuff for the kitchen or game stuff, pretty much anything. If you have any questions, you can come ask people at the front desk. And then this is where you're going to get your mail, so um, packages and everything, you'll just come to the front desk to pick it up. They usually send you an email and let you know when you have something, so you'll know when to come get it. And yeah, we're going to go downstairs and show you all the fun stuff. I like this flooring. I think it's called. Uh, oh, what is the stuff in Palm Beach called? You have to remember. The terraza. Ter terrazzo. Terrazzo. Yeah. Let's do this. It's kind of an elegant flooring. Yeah. We do a number of summer camps on campus uh, through the summer. It's always a nice situation. So we're in the basement, and this is where um, the common space is. This is recycling right here. Save recyclers on campus. This is just a good room to hang out. There's a TV if you want to have movie night. Yeah, that's a pretty big TV there. Yeah. People always have like watch parties here. So. And here's the kitchen. It's kind of loud, but you've got your ice machine and the fridge, and then all this stuff is open for you to use if you decide to cook in and not go to a dining hall for a day. Did you cook very much? I did. I would make cookies and stuff. And my RAs would always um, make stuff for us if they have taco nights and just all the food, so. What hall did you? I lived in Reed. Okay. And um, just like there, if you do want to make cookies or something, they'll have stuff like sticky sheets and things for you to use at the front desk. And you'll just show them your student ID and you get to use those without charge. And your student or your housing fees, it's already covered. Just like laundry. You don't have to bring quarters for your laundry. <laughs> this is the laundry room. Um, so as you can see, there's like 
little scan the numbers on all of our, machi all of our machines because we use an app called Laundry Alert, which is very convenient because instead of having to come down and check and see if anything's available or sit and wait for your laundry, you can just put in the number of machine you're using and it'll send you notifications and let you know when your stuff's done or show you anything. So it saves you a lot of time. It's really nice. And we have the um, app information on the wall. So when you're here, you can just look there and add it. It's really nice to have. Tips or tricks about the best time? Come whenever everyone's at class. Or like on <laughs> test day, if you don't have a test, that's the time. Yes. Because there's times when everyone will just try and do it at once, so don't come then. Come whenever it's free. Yeah. Or if you're a night owl like me, come really late. I could not wait with it, no one So here you have vending machines, which you can use Apple Pay, which is really cool in your car. Don't stop that one. It's Pool table, bathroom. It's where you'll meet a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Are you a pool player? I'm really pool? bad. Really? really? You're so bad. What do you play? I play. Um, my grandpa has a pool table and I always attempt, but I'm not the best. So this is, um, we have some study room. study better in, in groups so you can always use these um, most residence halls all of them for sure have a room that you can use to study in so and there's also two other ones in this area but our guests are using them right now <laughs> and it's, it's nice it's in a little glass box because it like shuts out the sound for you yeah <laughs> Lots of stairs to go yes. to the third floor. So yeah. we'll, we'll go slow so nobody loses their breath, including, <laughs> including the watchers. Yes. Um, where is everybody from who's watching? Yeah. yeah. We'd love to yeah. know what cities you're coming from to come to the university. Yeah, me and Janie are both from Northwest Arkansas, so Springdale's not far from here. That's yeah. right, you've got natives. Do you uh, have favorite places to eat? Ooh, I love ham and trees on okay. Dixon Street. They have the best grilled cheeses ever. Everyone loves ham and trees. It's amazing. Yes. <laughs> the solving's great if you like sushi and fried rice and stuff like that. Oh, yes. Very good. Can't go wrong. There's a lot of good stuff on Lakeside. I'm trying to think. Yeah, there's a lot of good local places. Yeah. Oh, we have food trucks, which are really cool. Oh, yeah. Those Definitely. Are fun. You can walk there. There's some here. new ones, too. Yeah. Like I heard about... Uh, there's an egg roll food truck that's right oh. there. There's always new stuff. I need to try that. I love it. All right, we're on the third floor. Yes, we're on the third floor. I'm winded. <laughs> Me too. We're going into the bathroom first. Um, so yeah, there's gonna be a couple of these on every floor. Over here, you can see there's really good lighting, good mirrors. This would be an example of our community style bathrooms. And Reed had a community style bathroom too, is that right? Yes, it did. You get used to it. It's not bad at all. <laughs> I remember I was kind of scared, but it's fine. You not told bad. me that uh, flip flops and shower caddy are. Yes, flip flops are definitely must. shower caddy. Yeah, that's a must. So the showers have this little room, the changing room outside, if you want to go look. And there you can. Do you mind letting her go yeah. in the room? Oh, yeah, I'm going to start. Somebody okay. asked to see inside the shower. Yeah. Like yeah. Sense of the architecture of that. Definitely go buy cheap footballs. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, it's really bright in here. It's so bright. I love okay. it. Let's head into room. This is 341. If anybody watching is living in here, let us know. <laughs> Thanks. Kim said that she is living here this upcoming semester. Awesome. What room? Yeah, yeah what room. room? Um, so I'll show you this up. 
And then I'm short, so I don't know if I can reach this, but you do have a little storage, storage yeah. spot up there if you want to use it. I think um, when we were touring Gibson, which is a very similar hall, uh, mm -hmm. the, um, Grace, who's the CRE there and is yeah. also the CRE here, said a lot of people just get big plastic tubs yeah. and just push them up there. Yeah. A place just for storage and whatnot. And then also these beds you can loft, so you can see the notches. Um, you can lift these up, and you can also request to get an even higher, like you can add one of these things on so you can loft it even higher, but that way you can put your desk under there if you want, or just storage. I know I put, I just bought those plastic doors from Walmart and mm -hmm. put those under mine, but these are all movable, so you can kind of design this however you prefer. You've got a big mirror built in, so that's nice. And you each get a set of drawers. She tells what room? Yeah, so Kim is going to stay in room 309. Oh. 309? Wait. Yeah. Let's see, they're on the third floor. Yeah. Yeah. Let me get you. Okay. Okay, I'm going to show you a trick for these chairs. They're called gamer chairs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the biggest gamer in the world, but there's a little handle. Yeah. It's like a little rocking chair. That was so cool. And, and then you have this other one. Yeah. That's a little yeah. table. So if you have friends come over, need some extra seating, oh, yeah. that's super nice. That's why I had a beanbag, and I would just hide it under my bed. And I never smart. use it, but when you have friends over, it's oh, yeah. nice to have. Yeah. And then these bookshelves are nice to decorate. Everybody always makes them their own, makes them look good. Oh, yeah. Um, do you want to show them the locking? Uh, oh, or does okay. it? they don't do that in here. Let's oh, okay. see. Usually some locking space. Okay. Um, if you want to measure the mattress. Yes. So. Oh, you can use my hand. Okay. I'll go on this side. <laughs> We're using our new school. Yeah. This is really, really cool. <laughs> Just a little laser, and it measures that way. Oh, there you are. I'm trying to be so it's straight. It says six feet five inches. Six feet five inches. Six times twelve. Seventy-two. <laughs> uh, Let's look. So plus five would be seventy. Seven, seventy-eight. Seventy-seven, seventy-eight. 78, 78, 78, 78 inches. inches. Seventy-eight inches long. Yeah. And I think they're the same size. Let's go check the other one just to make yeah, sure. Yeah, I think both in here. Great time to ask us questions. And yeah. You may want to know. If you have any measurements you want to know, I'll use my cool little laser and figure it out for you. But yeah. You also have a towel rack on the back of your closet, so yes. that's nice. You definitely use that. I know I did. Yeah. I like the big mirror that comes with these. Mm hmm. You know what? We're going to go check out 309. Yeah. I think um, we can do that. since someone's tuning in, we're in yeah. 309. That's the least we can do. Yeah. Fun to see your room. I can find it. <laughs> yeah, we're in the 340s, 320s. Yeah. A little bit. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> we'll get there. It is on the other side of the hallway. We will get there. We will. It's worth it. Oh, I wonder, do I use trash here? Yeah, we can, we do. We okay, use trash here. So um, well, that's nice because then you don't have to carry your trash down. So, right. yeah. trash chute. Literally put your trash in the chute and it goes down. Uh, Karen wants to know are those regular twin mattresses or extra long twin? I think 78 gets into that extra long category. Um, 80, I think, is a standard extra long. So, it's, um, it's right in that range. Okay. And we'll measure the one down here again, just to verify. Yeah, I can't remember what size bedding I got. We typically think of larges as 75 or less. 
Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. You're right by this window. Yeah. Cute little. Okay. So, Cam, if you're That'd still watching, yeah. here is your room. Got a little study area right there. That's yeah. These are my favorite, so you don't have to walk to the library. You can get out of your room. <laughs> You've got it right next to you, so that's really nice. Yeah. And it's a two window, so it's right there on the Ooh, corner. Oh, yeah. yeah. Two windows. So this is on the edge. I'll have two. Very nice. Also, just by the way, they come with this cable box and remote, so if you bring. I mean, uh, it's all it's digital cable, and you have HBO as well. Yeah. A couple of HBOs. I think the plural of HBO is HBOs, right? I don't know. I'm a Netflix person myself, <laughs> to be honest with you. But, gotcha. Yeah. Well, let's go ahead and I'll measure the mattress again just real quick, yeah, just to make sure. Yeah, Kim said, that's a nice view. <laughs> it is nice. Yeah. What do you yeah. got out there? In the yeah. fall, these trees are going to be gorgeous. Oh, that is so true. Yeah. And you can see Dixon from over here. Oh, let's see what you can see out there. So that's yeah. Temple, right? No. That's Bruff. That's Bruff. Bruff and Founders. Oh, yeah, Founders. Mm -hmm. Super nice. So you're at the top of Dixon Street. Oh, you can Street. see the Greek Theater over there, too. You can. Oh, that's neat. Cool. And you'll have that wonderful view of Mount Sycamore, uh, yeah. Mount Sequoia, Mount sorry, Sequoia. Mount Sequoia over there. Way out there. That changes uh, beautifully when the Ozarks turn oh, yeah. purple and gold and red. Mount Sequoia is my favorite place to go watch the sunset, so if you love that as much <laughs> as I do. Oh, yeah. That's a really good spot. Cool. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to turn Cam wants to know how high can we put the beds up? So on here, if you just keep this. from the bottom of the mattress down and it was five feet. Yeah, I think you're right. So, and that was just enough to put the desk under it if you choose to do that or whatever you want. Some people will bring like little love seats, little yeah. couches and stuff. Definitely enough space to put a, a desk underneath. But. Yeah. Hi, Stelina. That's my neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> yeah, any other measures? Uh, we don't have any questions right now. Now you know what both style of rooms look like. I'm glad we got to show you your room. Yeah. 309, right? 309. 309. So cool. Yeah. Decorated. <laughs> yeah, if you guys have any other questions, feel free to ask. We'll go back through and look at the comments. But um, our schedule for the other URCOM live tours is online on the Move In website. So if you want to watch those, feel free. Um, but thank you for tuning in. I'm glad we could show you guys around. See ya.